Can you help me with that? Yes. So my name is Michael Kearns. I'm 47 years old. I um, suffered a series of different injuries, starting with a fall in the bathroom that led to a traumatic brain injury and a surgery to remove part of my skull. And then as a result of a long recovery period where I didn't have an entire skull in place, I had a stroke in May of 2017 because of unstable intracranial pressure. And that one has been particularly difficult to come back from. It had the greatest physical impact on my ability to walk, uh, on my cognition, and on paralysis in my left arm. After a long time in rehab, they told me that I had reached the limits of what I could do. And honestly, when they told me, we think you've hit a plateau and you should go off and do something else until you're ready to come back to us, it felt like they were telling me this is as good as you're going to get. And that wasn't acceptable. We felt lost. We felt like we had hit the end of a road and we certainly didn't think we'd reached the end of our road. They referred us to Johns Hopkins. And when we got up there for this very specific treatment, we met Pablo Selnick, who mentioned that he was doing this study, non-invasive brain stimulation, and that Michael might be a good candidate for it. Walk so well. Michael, Michael Selnick, nice to, to see you again. Good to be back. The idea here is that we combine non-invasive brain stimulation techniques with physical therapy and occupational therapy at a high intensity level to uh, get more recovery out, out of the person. Perfect. So the first part, as you remember, we're gonna be taking some simple measurements of your head uh, to identify the proper location for this uh, stimulation electrodes. Non-invasive brain stimulation, like we did with Michael, we're increasing the excitability of these brain regions that are involved in controlling his movement. So when we pair this enhancement of cortical or brain activity with the training, we're hoping to increase the effectiveness of that training and improve the rehab outcomes. I kept reinforcing that the non-invasive part of NIBS, non-invasive, yes. it's not an uncomfortable or a difficult or painful procedure to go through. Right. It right. really just makes my scalp itchy for a few minutes. Yep. The physical therapists have partnered so seamlessly with the folks behind the technical treatment that it didn't feel any different. Nice! That was a really good range of motion across your chest for that one. They're so good at what they do, and they're so committed to this program and its promise that they bring that enthusiasm to each and every physical therapy session. The change became evident when we would gradually, over time, the physical therapists would encourage me to and push me to take away one level of kind of safety reliance that I had been leaning on. Like I first started walking in a harness connected to the ceiling so that I could theoretically fall. And we would take away the bracing on my ankle so that under their supervision, I could experiment with less and less restriction. So doing all of that over time built into a greater sense of accomplishment and a recognition that this was all adding up to change and that was very encouraging. Michael has uh, gained uh, significant abilities in terms of his ability to walk, uh, to move his arm, uh, his balance. It's a beautiful thing. It is humbling to see how the patients recover and we have, uh, it recharges our energy and gives me tremendous joy to see people uh, do better and going back to their normal life. At the end of the day, we did 45 sessions with the physical therapist and the occupational therapist. I can say hands down without question, it made all the difference in taking me from a place where my recovery was stalled and pushing it to the next level of improvement. They took care of me, they cared about me as a person, they continued to make themselves available after I finished treatment there and their heart and soul was in making sure that I got better. And that made a huge difference.